guys welcome to another video we know it's been a while uh, so we've decided because it's been a little while since our last video we're gonna make a day out we're gonna take a drive uh, see where we end up um, as you can see at the moment we are in the middle of a Tesco garage uh, in the middle of getting diesel uh, we got Katie and Jay in the back we got Madison right at the back we got Kenzie behind me. Louise is out there somewhere doing the fuel bit. Um, so yeah, we're just going to put some fuel in in the old battle bus. We're going to make our way. Um, I believe we are going to be heading west um, along the southwest coast. So we'll see where we end up. We're not too sure yet where we're going to go, but you can follow us on this journey and let's see where we end up. We are about 41 minutes away from our destination. So not long until you find out where we're going. This was a bit of a spontaneous kind of last minute trip out. Um, but that's what I'm like. Aren't I? Yes. But I think the kids are excited. There's a lot of stuff where we're going, so we're just on the boring A303, I think it is, isn't it? Or A3? No, the A3. Or the A3. So it's boring, it's long. Um, so yeah, we're, we're in no, we've got no time restraints, we've got no time limits, and the kids are going to learn lots of new stuff today. We have stopped, we are in our services on the A3, uh, just outside Midhurst I think we are, I think is the name of it. Um, so we just stopped off, um, used the little boys room and the little girlies room. Uh, nice place, clean, um, and loads of, I don't know if you can see behind me, out the window there. Uh, loads of electric chargers so if you're coming up this way this is definitely a good place to stop they have got a um, truck parking as well which is good which is just around the corner there um, so we're just stopped use the toilet got a drink got myself a bottle of this new Pepsi screen wash um, <laughs> And then we'll be on the move again and we'll see you a bit further down the road so we have arrived it's now time to let you guys know exactly where we've ended up um, and i will show you in a second once we get here just walking towards the main bit um, okay so we are We are in South Sea. South Sea, just outside of Portsmouth, about what, three miles? Four yeah, miles outside of Portsmouth. I grew up here for a little while as a kid. So we're gonna have a wander around, uh, and have a look and, to see what we can find. And for people who didn't know, the Mr. Bean movie was filmed here, or the Mr. Bean series. Yes. And we'll show you where some of them places right are. Here. Yeah. yeah. Here we are on the front. Um, as you can see, if you look over to my left hand side over there, you'll find this. This is where years and years and years ago, I think it was 1980s, 1990s, some point, this is where Mr. Bean did the filming of the when he did the baby 
this is the actual park and this is where it was all filmed around here and this is where the balloons were tied to it and it went up in the air and filmed that's the park there there's also got a little roller coaster South Sea Rock behind me this is a crazy golf course I don't know what the prices are. Let's have a look at the prices. Okay, so per person is uh, turn you around there. So per person nine holes, six pound fifty. Students and OAP nine holes, six pounds. Toddlers for nine holes, four pound fifty. Uh, oh, they do eighteen hole as well. Special offers. So that's not too bad. That's the it's well themed. So that's. I don't remember that. that. It's not is, new. is it new? Yeah, I don't remember it. We've turned up there. This is one of the things we've come to see. Um, and that is the. That is the hovercraft. I think it's still one of the only. I think it's still one of the only hovercrafts left that are actually up and running. We used to have. Hovercrafts at Dover. We used to go from Dover to Calais. Um, this one, I don't know how long, I don't know what time this one will be going back out again. Um, so, Clarence Pier, the town centre. So, as you can see, it goes straight out there, straight across the Solent. Um, I don't know where it goes, by the way. I don't know what class it is. It's not as it's not as big as the Dover ones. I think it's one of the only ones left. Am I, am I right? Is it one of the only one of the only hovercrafts left that yeah, are actually up and running? Run. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't know if there's anywhere that we can see it go out. I'll get if it comes to it, I'll get Katie to climb up on the roof of the van. She'll film it from up there. Okay, so we'll have a walk down here then. Um, well, we will have a look. I don't know what time the next thing is. I didn't have another look. Um, but you've got that there. If we turn around, you look over this way. So you've got the over here, you've got a car, big car park, but a big green area. South Sea Common, that is. South Sea Common. That bit, there's that little gap. Yeah, you can go there. Yeah. Battle of Trafalgar. Yeah. Oh. No, I can't go on. Oh, actually, this is quite. Um... It should go back on. Okay. No, this is this is all right. I don't think I can get. Oh, here we go. So there's people getting on. Yeah. When it so I'm wondering whether to change camera because of the sound. I might go to my phone for this bit. Okay, so they've let people on. So it looks like they are getting ready to go. Yeah, that's the doors. All doors are shut.
Guys. way um, we'll let you let you have a look at what's along here um, it's a real trail there's, uh, there's the ferry yeah. that turned up all of a sudden yeah maybe we'll get it later yeah so that's the obviously you've got a monument here to do with um, the D-Day. Yeah. There is a D-Day memorial place down here, or the sto D-Day story. I've been here for years, the D-Day story. So we're going to have a look down the, the other end. Um, see what's down the other end. But we thought we'd give you a, a little bit of it, rather so you don't have to do the walking. So we thought we'd put the camera on and you can have a look at the place while we're on our way down to have a look. So over there is the part of the boat, the D-Day. Oh, that's a old car park there as well. Well, that's a landing craft, isn't it? That's what all the, all the soldiers used to be in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You can go on it. Um, yeah, the landing craft in Normandy. Well. You used to be. That was one of the boats that used to carry the troops across. That used to land on the beaches at Normandy. Center. They've also got a bike system by the look of it, electric bikes and things. Parking bays. We've got some roadworks with some traffic lights. Stop here, guys, for <laughs> so we'll go this way. God, I tell you what, it's quite warm, if it wasn't though. for that wind, yeah, it's actually really warm. South Sea Pier, yeah, we've got the pier just there. Over to we could actually park the pier actually and go down the pier. I don't, I don't know if we have to pay to go there now. Uh, part that everybody comes to if they come to South Sea or will it be the other end where we yeah, just was? Oh you got another pier. Oh, okay. uh, so we can park along here somewhere. Along here somewhere. Yeah, we can park somewhere. 
All right, we'll find somewhere to park and then we'll have a look around. Yeah. So we've parked up oh, again. They won't hurt you as long as you don't hurt them. They haven't got no babies. So we've parked up again, a little bit further down the beach. Um, and we're going to go and look on South Sea Pier. I ain't getting too close to the spot so just in case. Um, but yeah, we're just going to go and look in South Sea Pier. I think where you can see the swans on the beach. Yeah, there's swans on the beach. I don't know if you can see them behind me, guys. So, we're going to go and see what's open in the pier. And see if maybe there's somewhere we can get something to eat inside. If not, we've just found a little hut that does chips and that. Yeah. Quite cheap. The place we looked at earlier. What was it for fish and chips? Uh, ten pound fifty. Ten pound fifty for fish and chips, and that's quite expensive. Yeah, they wanted five pound for cheese. Yeah, five pound for cheesy chips. I was like, but then six pound for saveloy and chips. So for an extra pound, yeah. you can get saveloy and chips. So obviously that makes me believe that the cheesy chips are popular. Yeah. Um, that's why that's more expensive. We've now we've come onto the pier. This is the deep blue, deep blue sea. fish and chip shop. Yeah, deep blue or... sea, fish and chip restaurant. Oh, look at their compactor. Recycling equipment, great British restaurant. Fish and chips. Wow, that looks, um, you're right. It's all right, cheers, mate. Let's have a look at the prices so let's spin you around so white bait salt and pepper calamari uh, regular cod and chips 14.99 limey that's expensive well for us it is obviously I'm not saying that the food is bad because we don't know but say they're hungry and want something and then they just waste it don't yeah they? that is wasteful. a lot of the problem that's why we try to find things as cheap as we can so yeah we're not stingy it's just that it's a nice just... place though i'd say it's probably nice food by looking probably, at it but... but yeah so oh, wow. this is out on the, the pier i think they do you know what i think nowadays i don't know who agrees they've spoiled it with these piers now that they've covered them all in concrete instead of being oh, the original did. wood. No, I'm glad they did, so I don't care. <laughs> you, uh, you ain't gonna get through this. Why does that look like Lilo? It is. It is Lilo. Snitch is just behind it. Look, I can just see his ear poking out. And donkey! Donkey! Uh, we wasn't filming at the time, but yeah, I ended up on my back. Um, I went up a ramp and it was a bit steeper than I thought and I was leaning backwards. Um, yeah, and it tipped even, straight up. I don't think it was steep. It was more, it was kind of... Just um, the angle. Big, yeah. So this is the... We are now at the end of the pier. Not the longest pier in the world. That's where you have to go fishing, down there. Yeah. People That's jump off of there. Normally where they go fishing. Well, you could jump off there, really, and go swim in there. It's not that far away from the beach. You could jump off of there. It's not that far away from the beach. Oh, that's creepy. So that's the Isle of Wight over there. All the way over there. The weather looks nice over there. Okay, so these all run, everything on the beach here, or on the pier, is tokens. I'm just going to try and see if I can find out how much the tokens are. Okay, so that's, right, that's 2.2 two and a half. How did you get 2.5 tokens for the, so the shoot that's going on its own? Hopefully that's just the wind and it's not haunted. Could be Long John Silver, could be haunted. Doubt it though. Um, yeah, it doesn't, so unfortunately, it doesn't say, it doesn't 
doesn't say how much the tokens are, which is a bit odd. Oh look, someone's put some flowers here, look, Eddie Kelly. Loving memory of Debbie Kelly. Eddie. Eddie and Debbie. Oh, Debbie Kelly. The pier looks so rusty, look. This is just gonna go. Blue. I know. It's it's amazing, isn't it? How it still holds up. Yep. <laughs> when you think of piers in the beginning, they were just wood, so they had enough weight that to hold them up being wood. Now they put tarmac and that on them. That's even more weight that that pier's got to hold up. Right so it's quite. Lighting. Yeah, it's quite surprising how much weight actually there is on them pier legs that go in that hold it up there's a lot of weight so we're just gonna have a we're gonna have a wander back so we're back in the van we missed that um chip place um it was just that, it? yeah he was just closing up just as we kind of walked back up or come back up which the time it took us to walk to the pier and back it closed yeah literally we was only on the pier what 10 15 minutes <laughs> yeah. um and by the time we walked back and you know he was closed so yeah that wasn't wasn't good but i did say to Leah about getting him before we went in there but he, he had a point of like not eating outside because of the seagulls um, so we're just going to drive up further and see what we can find to eat because we're all hungry I think now. We're going to have to come back. Yeah, we're definitely going to come back because there's a model, model village. village yeah. We weren't here early enough. So you've got the model village up there. That's been there for years, yonks. Yeah, so you've got the model village up there. I think mean, it's very, from what I recall, it's not very big. Um, you've got all the beach huts along there. You have to pay to go in there because it looked like the gates were wide open. In where? Yeah. No, I think, I don't know. No, the beach huts you hire out. No, the model village. Yeah, you have to pay. Oh. I'll look it up in a minute. So yeah, we're just driving along there. You've got the cricket ground there. It is. It is literally just a shame that it's just so windy. If that wind dropped, yeah. it would actually be quite warm. Um, without that wind, it's actually quite warm, isn't it? Mm. Um, but yeah, September, out of season, uh, these rely heavily. They're very seasonal down here, uh, Portsmouth, South Sea. So we're just looking for some food. <laughs> so we will catch up with you in a bit guys when we find some food I'm not sure where no. and how far we've got to travel but we'll catch up with you in a bit so we have found the KFC um, the best option we know everyone will eat um, kids being autistic they're really fussy in what they eat so yeah we're just gonna eat this so Lee's gone for a bonus banquet. It does look a bit overcooked, doesn't it? It does look a bit um, overcooked. I've got, got your old original toast. Yeah, I've got popcorn, popcorn, and, and a wrap. Yeah, I've got that toast. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's like the original. I've got drinks. We can't do a lot of filming in here, guys, because of the music. So we'll catch up with you once we leave. We've got buffalo. <laughs> Lee Nick's not very good with not spicy anymore, food. He used to be, but he's not some anymore. He's gonna go in there. He's gonna burn through and drop out here. Right? <laughs> oh crap. <laughs> Are they hot? <laughs> Colours changing in your face. <laughs> I thought it was 
and it's one of them heats the minute you put it in your mouth you can feel it. So we are heading home. We've got a two and a half, three hour drive. My charger just fell. Um, ahead of us. Hopefully we won't catch too much traffic. But we was gonna go look around other places, but the only reason we're not going to is because the weather's turned nasty. It started raining, hasn't it? Yeah. As you can see, it started raining. So we are going to head out of the city and we are gonna he start heading home. I don't know what time we do to get home. Eight o'clock? Uh, yeah. So eight o'clock, so yeah. But it's been a nice day, hasn't it? It's got us out. Yeah. We had to do something, we had to get out. Yeah, do you enjoy yourself? Yes. Yeah. And Kenzie with his new little pink toy. <laughs> <laughs> KD, you enjoyed your day now? Too much oxygen? Different, I've never been here before, so. Lee's never been here before. I have, I used to live here when I was a child, when I was about KD's age, That's so. I like. I like going to places um, I ain't been before. But very, very soon, we are going to be taking the motor home on a little a little trip we're not sure first trip out just to see yeah just a couple works. of nights just to see how we get on how it all works and everything because like we've had caravans and we've had tents and stuff but we've never ever had a motor home so it's completely new to us and i think then we're going to be planning a longer trip if everything goes okay aren't we um i think we're going to go right along the coast um, well, yeah well, i don't know if we're going to do along the coast first we'll see yeah we are, but that is that is definitely one that's planned yeah it's like like 43 stops um all around from the south coast um, along up the west up the uh, southwest coast so back around in the loop wales and then back to, up towards minehead and maybe ending at minehead yeah so watch it because there's a lot of videos coming, isn't there? Yeah. Um, so what? Keep watching. We are. We'll let we you know when that starts. Yeah, we'll let you know. We do apologise for the lack of videos. The weather's not been the greatest with where we are, is it? Has it? No. And we've been having a bit of problems with, with Kadia getting her to go out. Um, well, and also, obviously, you, uh, you, know, you guys don't want to see. Yeah, you don't want to see Dave. Trips, trips to the you know, go shopping so. yeah they're a bit boring and to be honest with you nine times out of ten we can't film in the supermarkets and stuff nowadays because of the music can we no um and we have to be careful now because like we're past that threshold of like what do they call it copyright ban yeah we're, we're, uh, strikes right now we can actually get into trouble yeah so because like we're past like the 500 subscribers so we, can lose that channel. we can lose our channel over it and as much as like we're not doing it for gain or anything like that. We're just doing it for memories for the kids when they're older. Cause one day me and Lee ain't gonna be around. So, you know, it's memories for the kids to look back on, isn't it? But we still don't want to lose it. We've put a lot of work into it and we don't, we don't want to lose our channel, do we? So yeah, we'll keep you posted on when that's gonna happen. But yeah, there's lots of adventures in the motorhome. We were just getting it ready. But now we're pretty sure it's done now, isn't it? Which is, yeah. I think we've got, we started putting well, some... Well, there's still bits to do, but yeah. we want, you know, it, it's usable now. Yeah. We just needed to get some bits inside it so that we could go out in it. Um, we even, now we should be all right. Yeah, we even put some food in there yesterday, didn't we? Yeah. We put some, like, tin food and some, you know, like, packet rice and stuff like that. So um, we've got tea bags and sugar and stuff like that. But yeah stay tuned and there's going to be lots more videos coming soon so we will catch up with you when we're a little bit further down the road because it looks like we're going to catch traffic so we have arrived at no not home we ain't home yet we are at clackett's clackett lane services on the m25 um so it's been Give it its due traffic wise, it's been pretty good. We've I can't bit, complain. Yeah, we've got a little bit up 
sort of coming out of Portsmouth, didn't they? It was the very first bit, wasn't it? Yeah. it was, I think because we come out of there, we hit literally just hit rush hour as we come out of there. So yeah, we caught a bit of the traffic, but other than that, it's been quite good. Um, we've had a bit of rain. Um, That's what ruined the day, I think. Come along. Uh, and then it started again on the motorway didn't it um but it's cleared up again i don't know whether it's cleared up for the night or whether it's gonna carry on a bit more but yeah obviously for some reason we stopped off to use the toilets get a drink katie has decided that yet again obviously it's time for food um so she's conned more food out of mum um louise is also didn't realize louise has also got food <laughs> <laughs> so yeah so we're just gonna do the last little trek and we're, we're pretty much home nearly so here we are we are back home after a long day out um unplanned day out spontaneous. spontaneous day out yes um louise has done it again but good uh thoroughly enjoyable actually so and it also gives us an idea of exactly what it's going to be like to be spontaneous but next time we're going to be going we're going to be using the motorhome we're hoping that we're going to try and get the last little bits that we need for it um which isn't a great deal at all um we worked it out just to get it on the road and get it ready to go is a few bits um we're gonna pl be planning a trip um so you, we've got that to come uh and i think yeah that brings us to the end of our night we are back home the kids are in bed um it's now uh, let's have a look yeah 10 30 in the evening um, last time we spoke to you we was at the services um so we've just sat down we've watched a bit of telly we had some had a nice cup of tea um meds have all been taken so that's it we're now going to be going off to beddy buys so we will see you guys in the next video hopefully it won't be that long but as you're aware you know it, it, we are trying to get videos but it's really difficult you really do not want to see us going shopping um going to the doctors and all the rubbish things that we normally do during the week so we'll see you in the next video take care and we'll see you later and say goodbye <laughs> so don't forget to stay safe stay happy and don't forget to comment like and subscribe you guys have been fantastic so far you have got us up to we're now sitting on just over 600 subscribers you guys have been fantastic so keep it up uh, thank you ever so much for everything that you do um to keep us um, for yeah to carry on the memories that we and to keep the channel going you know so we'll see you in the next video Night, guys.